Hi, my name is Bill Darting, Executive Chef Instructor at Suffolk Community College Culinary Arts Campus in Riverhead. Today we're going to be making roasted butternut squash and barley risotto. For this recipe you're going to need one medium butternut squash, one small Spanish onion, about a cup of Parmesan cheese, half a cup of cream, one pound of barley, fresh sage, fresh parsley, garlic. Okay, peeling a butternut squash can be a tricky venture. Sometimes your peeler can be very difficult to use with a conventional peeler. What I like to do is cut the squash into two sections. The top part is just the meat section. Down at the bottom where it makes that curve is where the seeds are. So the top part is just take your knife and follow it down. Try not to take too much of the squash off, but you want to get down till it's a nice, deep, rich yellow color. The white has a little bit of an off flavor, and you want that real sweetness that's down below. And when you're making this cut, just make nothing wider and three quarters of an inch. Don't try to take off too much at once. And then just go around with your knife following the last cut that you made. Okay, the round part that has the seeds in it, we're just gonna cut that right in half. And just like any squash, we're just gonna scoop out the seeds on the inside. Now what we're looking for is about a half inch dice on this squash. It's kind of difficult with this kind of shape. We're just gonna cut it into wedges. And then from the wedges, we're gonna just not waste anything. We just wanna cut it into squares, or at least close to it. Keep in mind that when we roast this in the oven, this is going to lose about half of its volume. So it's going to be a good size smaller. Now the top part is a lot easier. I'm just going to cut that into, we're just going to dice that up. And this squash has got a real nice color. This time of year, the squash are really sweet. We're gonna place our squash in a stainless steel bowl. We're gonna drizzle with a little bit of olive oil, very lightly. A pinch of salt and coarse grind black pepper. All right, after it's evenly distributed, put it onto our cookie sheet, keeping it in a single layer. And you wanna roast this at a very high temperature for about 15 to 20 minutes. The one downside or the one thing to be careful of is that it goes from perfectly cooked to mush very quickly. So cook it until it's just tender. So remember, high oven. If you don't have a convection oven, you wanna use a, turn, it, turn your oven up as high as it can go. So now our squash is roasted. It's come out of the oven and this is the color that you want. You see that the yellow has gotten darker and it is 
just tender. Like I said, if this overcooks, this becomes mush and it's really not suitable. It just dissolves in your risotto. But this is just right. All right, we're gonna get our saute pan nice and hot. And a little bit of olive oil, about a tablespoon. That's what you want. You want to hear those onions sizzle. We're going to get the onions to translucent. Okay, once the onions have softened a little bit, that's when we're going to add the chopped garlic. Now if you put garlic in in the beginning, garlic has a tendency to just burn in the pan and then everything else is going to have that burnt taste to it. So right when the onions are soft, I'm just going to add the garlic. All right, you get that nice aroma coming off. That's where we're going to add our barley. Now this barley has been pre-cooked. Cooked al dente. You cook it just like rice. That one part barley to three parts water. You want to keep that starch content in there. You get a nice nutty aroma coming off of that. And what we have here is prepared vegetable stock. We're going to repeat that process a couple more times. Each time that we add a little bit of vegetable stock, that barley is going to soak it right up and it's going to end up having the consistency and the texture of like a porridge. It's going to really be rich and creamy. So we're going to wait until that broth evaporates and we're going to repeat that process until we have the desired doneness with our barley. Season lightly with salt and pepper. And we're just gonna give it about two, three minutes until that, that broth gets very starchy and very thick and will stick to all the barley. Okay, we're right about at the right spot. You can see the barley getting thick. You can see the broth that around it was brothy. Now it's very thick. It's clinging to the barley. So at this point, we're gonna put on our finishing touches. Just a touch of cream. It doesn't need much, because it is very rich. We're going to add fresh sage. <clears throat> Parsley. About a tablespoon of each. I like to add my herbs close to the end. You really get the aroma that way. And you see that thickening up that the starch is being released from the barley and it's making a real thick risotto. At this point, we're going to add our butternut squash. That's been roasted. Sometimes if your butternut squash is not quite as sweet as you think it could be, you could add a tablespoon of brown sugar to that when you drizzle it with olive oil, salt, and pepper, just to 
just a little bit just to bring out that natural sweetness. I'm just gonna add a touch more cream. And that looks like it. And I'm gonna finish with some Parmesan cheese. Probably about a tablespoon of grated Parmesan. Okay, so we're gonna stir that cheese into the risotto. Really get that flavor around. And be careful when you're stirring. You don't wanna break up that butternut squash that you work so hard on. And now we're ready to serve. This is very rich, it's a nice side dish. You don't need a lot and it, it is very filling. The smell coming off of that is just fantastic. And there you have it, a great Thanksgiving side dish, bound to be a tradition for years to come. Great meal, so it could stand on its own with just a crusty piece of bread. Hope you have a great Thanksgiving, thank you.